we were in a roast battle for Jamie Oliver, I would say, I don't know what I dislike more, your British and lisp accent or your shitty nutritional advice. <laughs> Got the pork and your fat and your- Hey, I'm Jackson. And I'm Matt. And we're here today to talk about how Jamie Oliver is full of shit. Well, we're gonna investigate and see if his nutritional advice is legit or not. All right, so who is Jamie Oliver? He is a multi-multi-millionaire. He's worth hundreds of millions of dollars. He, I think at one point he had over 10 restaurants that he owned. He's been on multiple TV shows. He's had his own TV show. He does a lot of stuff. He does a lot of advocacy. Um, his passions are around reducing obesity in the UK, also in America and around the world, and teaching people how to eat really tasty food, but also make it local, moral, and ethical. I think those are all kind of good things, but somewhere in there, there's maybe one piece of that advocacy that's suspiciously absent from that uh, puzzle there. Busy drinks. Something we weren't expecting took us all by surprise. Something, of course, that uh, a certain celebrity chef has been campaigning for for many years. Um, I have to be honest, like, you know, designing a campaign, creating a documentary to tell the story about the logic behind you know, why sugar and sweetened drinks, the single largest source of sugar in our kids' and teenagers' diet, uh, was, you know, was due attacks and why we should back it up. We talk about this all the time in the vegan movement that there's so much data and research, I think even more than the unhealthy benefits than sugar, that animal products, high fat foods, meat, dairy, eggs, are really bad for your longevity, they increase your risk factor for tons of chronic diseases, but we don't have a tax there. But vegans talk about all the time that we should have a tax on those animals. And products. the WHO, you know, released a report that processed meats cause cancer. Like this is a, a carcinogen. It's yeah. like a level one carcinogen, hot dogs, processed yeah. meats, stuff like that. So I think that a sugar tax is extremely misleading. We're demonizing sugar in our culture. I am a sugar addict. I am a, a Whole, whole food sh sugar from fruits, from carbohydrates like potatoes and rice. So let's get into Jamie's books. He's written a lot of recipe books and he has a book on superfoods, like a superfood diet, uh, recipe, nutrition plan. Uh, we got smoked veggie chili. Okay, so far so good. Sesame butterfly chicken. I didn't know chicken was a superfood. This chicken looks really nice though. Jumbo fish fingers, squash and sausage risotto. What is this? Yeah. Like, okay, if you know anything about superfoods, that word kind of came into the mainstream, what, five, 10 years ago, people talking about cacao nibs and goji berries and high antioxidant foods, things that are objectively, scientifically, you know, fight against cancer, are really good for preventing illnesses. These are not superfoods. Yeah. No, it's, I think, I think they, they totally have twisted the meaning of it, and instead of meaning something that's super healthy, what they'll do is they'll ignore all the unhealthy aspects of it, and they'll be like, oh look, it has this nutrient, nutrient, this nutrient. Exactly. Like, oh, it has five nutrients, then it must be wonderful. Exactly, this is reductionist bullshit, where you have this, you know, the main ingredient, the sausage, the oils, the, you know, processed flours, just, just things that are probably not the best for you, make up the bulk of the dish, and then they're like, and then shave on, <laughs> <laughs> a African white peppercorn, which helps your complexion. It's a superfood. Yeah. Such bullshit. Like, I, I can't stand that. Yeah. Higher welfare chipolata or small pork <laughs> sausages. <laughs> What does that even mean? So-called animal welfare is, is just something that pretty much does not exist, so I wish we could just stop lying to ourselves on that front. Direct action everywhere, and I'll show you clips right here, have gone undercover into farms that are certified humane, organic, free-range, whole foods turkey farms, for instance, and the conditions are atrocious. They're grotesque. They're, it's a torturous life to live. And now, a brand new sneak peek from Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution. Evolution. Who knows what this is? Potatoes. I don't know. Do you know what this is? No? Who knows what tomato ketchup is? Okay, so I'm gonna give Jamie a break here, and I haven't watched this whole TV show that he did, Food Revolution, but I think it was pretty much coming into the United States and just trying to expose how little we know about nutrition and then trying to get the cafeterias to source, you know, healthier foods. I think, like, this clip, is actually pretty pretty good of, of, of what he's doing. He's revealing something that's objectively true, that kids that grow up in America, 
they don't know a lot about what whole food ingredients look like because they're, you know, all that their parents bring home are packaged goods. Yeah, okay, yeah, that, that part of it makes sense. I guess I'm jumping the gun and thinking of like what the next thing is probably about to be. Probably the next step is gonna be, you know, introducing animals and, and promoting that sort of a thing. And, and certainly when I went to see one of the world's best experts on fat and how fat works and, yeah. and, and good fats, bad fats, all that stuff. Yeah. Obviously, it's a massive story. But um, he's also, by default, by luck, had done some of the biggest studies on vegetarian and vegan diets. Yeah. And he's not a veg vegan or vegetarian, so yeah. he's totally unbiased. Yeah, yeah. So um, I was quite interested. And you learn a lot. Yeah, well, it's, the diets are looking good. As yeah. If you're a good, mindful, veggie or vegan yeah um, well if you plan it really carefully yeah. if you like i mean i don't know if you have that time and energy i don't know if you live next door to a health food store maybe if you're willing to climb this mountain maybe you could consider yes. a vegan diet and it's just like nonsense if you want to be healthy even if you're consuming animals you have to have a well-planned diet like they just like totally like just presume the standard american diet is just like the norm is easy or whatever and that these other habits you know it's just like all these subtle little ways and i don't even i don't think it's nefarious here but Gosh, it's so frustrating. Yes, if you get on a vegan diet, you know, eat vegetables, you can even also eat processed food, eat veggie burgers. You don't have to count your vitamins. You don't have to count your macronutrients. It's gonna fall into place. I would argue that if you're eating super unhealthy foods, like any form of animal, animal products, even Jamie Oliver certified welfare pork sausages, yeah. you better be more worried about your cholesterol levels, the, the, the nutrients that you're getting, versus just eating a vegan diet where you're just eating plants and not even thinking about the minutia. Also, just the phrase, vegan and veggie diets are looking really good right now, meaning like we're about to have some breakthrough study to show that they're healthy. Mm -hmm. Like they're really looking good right now. It's like, no, they've been looking good for over a hundred years yeah. that scientists and doctors have been showing that eating a higher plant-based diet is healthier. So it's not looking good, it is good, it's the science, it's the facts that getting animal products out of your diet is optimal for health. And they're, they're looking good right now, but tomorrow something, it could all come crashing down. Yeah. Just stay tuned, hang on. Yeah. For now they're good. I found that in 2011 at one of his restaurants called uh, Glasgow, they found that they were um, selling sausages that were called like local and humane and made from scratch and they were actually, it says, made from an industrial park 400 miles away from the restaurant. Yeah, I didn't think it was possible to have animals coming from a thing that sounded worse than a factory farm, but Industrial park is right up there. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what that means, but it sounds horrible. I think probably you can think of like weird, nasty, yeah, like sausages, just like you know the ground up parts of, of, of animals, not not made from scratch. And look, I mean, he owns a lot of restaurants. He can't make everything perfect if he's going in the big direction that gets him hundreds of million dollars a year. But I think that just shows that there's a little a uh, little bit of lack of integrity uh, in what he claims versus what he actually practices. So you're telling me that an industry that's destroying the planet and torturing billions of animals, that there's, there's, there's an integrity issue? No, I would never say that. All, their intentions are always for the public, for the people. It's not about money, Matt. You're very cynical. <laughs> very cynical. Um, I think Jamie is, is a really good guy and I think he, you know, has basically has pretty good intentions with this. Uh, unfortunately, I also think he's caught up kind of in a combination of, of old ways of thinking which are pretty unscientific, uh, coupled with his own kind of profit incentive for, for his career interests that kind of have him unfortunately pushing a very animal-centered um, way of consuming which is extremely detrimental. Yeah, what I would like to see from Jamie Oliver is, you know, he, he does have like vegan recipes on his website and stuff like that, but it's still in the fringe, it's the minority. I'd love to see Jamie come out with a vegan cookbook, start promoting veganism at the forefront of his advocacy instead of making it this minor uh, little part. Thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment in the comment section on what you think about Jamie Oliver after this video. And if you want to see a video of one of our open rescue investigations, click here. Bye bye.